programming your turned parts has been made even easier and faster in FeatureCam 2014, with the ability to automatically deburr either internal or external sharp edges of turn or bore features. Sharp corners can be automatically filleted by simply selecting a specified radius in the Dimensions tab without having to edit the geometry of the feature itself. The side of the rounding can also be flipped depending on whether you are turning or boring. In this example we're going to look at both situations. Here I have my part and I've got a number of pre-created features already and in this case you can see I've got a face, a turn and a bore. If I go ahead and just play the 3D simulation we can see the sharp edges that we're left with on the model. The internal corners already have a rounding purely because that's the shape of the insert of the tool. But I also want to deburr these outer edges as well. To do this, we simply go into the turn feature and on the dimensions tab you can see we have a fillet radius option. We can also indicate which side we wish to cut. I'm going to stop the simulation and enter a value. In this case I'm going to enter something like 2 millimeters, apply and if we look at the top of the part you can see the amount of fillet radius that we've added to the component. We can continue to increase that value and apply and you'll see the radius get bigger or if we just want to deburr the edges we can go something smaller. Note that I'm not changing the geometry this is just simply affecting the dimensions of the feature itself. If I wish to apply this to the internal corners instead of the outside corners, I simply flip the other side option and that moves it to the internal corners instead. I can repeat this for the bore operation as well. So in this case you can see the shape of my curve again. And again I can apply a fillet radius, say 2, and using the other side we can work with the bore and take those sharp edges on the internal areas of the bore itself. Once I'm done, choose OK, replay my simulation and you'll see we get the filleted edges across the top and also inside our model as well.